I wanted to have my own web series, so here it is. People always say to me that I watch way too much TV, and while I may not disagree, I cannot believe how we met their mother, and I need to know who's being watched by Big Brother. So many people these days are going cableless. I am not one of them, and I never will be. I watch way too much TV to just cut it out. First off, I hate watching shows on the computer, even YouTube shows, which is ironic given that I've no doubt implored you to watch this show more times than Fozzie Bear has told a bad joke. I mean, his jokes are just unbearable. Waka waka. I use the computer for chatting and for writing and for email and I keep the TV on for entertainment. While others whistle while they work, I watch TV. And on those rare occasions that I do have to find a show illegally on the interwebs, I find it's hard to find, they're all low quality, and very often they'll start to buffer, usually right at the end of an episode. It is more annoying than when they auto-tune everything on Glee. While I do have a Roku and I realize I could subsist off Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO, I would miss all those syndicated shows like Jeopardy! And then the correct response would be, what is unfortunate? Finally, without cable, you can't watch any live TV. And while I hope to win some awards someday, I would be very sad if I came home and was not able to watch myself on the television. Plus, I love having people over for all those live musicals and award shows. My parties have become havens for cable cutters like Venezuela was for Neil. Therefore, it just makes sense for me to have cable so that I can run to the couch each night like The Simpsons. really posh family, these four kids, and it's really quirky and really funny, and they get into a lot of shenanigans, and it's definitely a show for kids. Kids! I love the Vanderpump Rules. It's so oh. bad, but it's so good! And I was just in LA last week, and I went to the same restaurant where it's filmed, and two of the guys were there, and I was like, oh my god, they're here! But like, who cares? They're not important people. Did you, like, did you so get any pictures or anything? I did, like, like, a picture. I did like, I pretended I was texting, but I was actually taking a picture of them. Oh all my, my friends. Yeah, I've, told, I've totally done that, so. Yeah. Yeah. What about yours? Oh, I can't think of anything. Let's see. Do I watch TV anymore? Yeah. Let's see. There's gotta be something. Ah, oh, oh, the, oh my god. This is gonna make me sound really old, but oh, um, is it? what's that show with the Playboy bunnies? The, the girls next door? The girls door? next door! Oh, I just remember this awful episode where they're in like Italy or something uh -huh. like that, and then they try pizza for the first time, and they're <laughs> like, oh, it's a, like, it's a pizza donut. It looks like a donut. It's a pizza donut. I'm like, I don't know why that got me. Okay. Right. And I was like, it's so stupid. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, Al Capone, he's from Italy. He's from Italy. It's like, no, he was not from Italy. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But that was a really bad show. I don't know why I watched it. 
just say, ugh. It's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. My guilty pleasure is this horribly sadistic TV show with Ricky Gervais being this evil genius sending his friend all around the world who has no interest in traveling and he says the most small-minded, cringe-worthy things in every place he visits. This one's bad. I really love The Bachelor. I know it's terrible. I am sure it's scripted and like just dis it is disgusting. It's it's pretty disgusting, but I absolutely love it and I get so invested in it and I like pick the girl that I want to win. It's horrible. <laughs> Uh, I think my guilty pleasure is it's a toss-up between either Walking Dead or Once Upon a Time. Oh, those are good, though. I know it's good, but I just it's between, like, zombies and, like, fairy tales. Oh, I mean, I, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, if zombies ever ate the fairy tale characters, that would be, like, an amazing show. That would be my guiltiest maybe, pleasure. Maybe if the zombies and the fairy tale characters came into The Bachelor, it would nice. be a more nice. quality television program. Yes. All right, you heard it here first, yeah. guys. <laughs> Wonder Cable. The only reason I stayed with them so long is because I had a cheap retention plan. But when they canceled that, it was the last straw. A month before then, they got rid of all of the standard definition channels, so I had to record everything in HD, making my DVR's capacity go from 85 hours to 30, which was not enough. My solution was to get a second DVR, which I hooked up to the same TV, two DVRs, one TV, but the remote control could not differentiate between the two and worked with both of them at the same time. Uh, it was more disjointed than when Jane's grandmother only speaks in Spanish. When the technician came over, he thought I was a little crazy. He had never seen someone hook up two DVRs to the same TV, and I was like, well, what is your solution? He said, you should just switch to Fios. When the Time Warner technician says you should switch to Fios, that is a worse sign than when all those birds died when Adam and Cassie had sex. So I switched. Fios is so fast. I have never had my porn download so quickly before. And the cable is pretty good, though two weeks in there was a snafu and I came home one night to find that Doctor Who had not recorded. I was more ballistic than Cookie on a rampage. So they sent the technician and it ended up taking two and a half weeks to solve the problem. First he thought it was a box in the hallway so he went to test some of them and they all failed. Then he realized, oops, if all of the boxes in the whole building are failing it must be the tester. Took another week to get a new tester thingy out here. Then he tested the boxes again, replaced all the ones that weren't working, which also took about a week, and I still was missing half of my channels. By this time, I had my own private technician, Richard, who's also incidentally a Trekkie. Very nice guy. I still have his cell phone number. And so he was kind of as upset and befuddled as me. He tried switching the wire in and out of my apartment. That didn't work. And eventually he was like, you know what? Let's just switch your box, it must just be a faulty box, but in order to put a new box on the account, the old one gets swiped and I would have lost all my recordings. And I said, hell no, I'm not doing that, and I stood my ground because I'm as unbreakable as Kimmy Schmidt, so I ended up with two DVRs again. And as soon as he put in the second DVR and changed the splitter, the first box started working again, so it was probably the splitter the whole time, but he said, you know, this new box is new, you should keep that. 
uh, and get rid of the old one when you're done. So I called Files on the phone and I explained to them the situation and it took me about an hour, an hour and a half to get the credit for the second box and get that okayed with the manager and work out everything finally. And then a few months later I finally cleared the first box and Richard came over and took that away. And then I had to call Files again for another hour to like tell them, no, I don't have this box anymore. It was more confusing than having a transparent. But since then, everything has worked out and it's working great. Knock wood. And with Fios, everything is awesome. So I watch too much TV at night unless I have an audition gig in the morning. And that's the topic next time. See you then on Everyday A Little Seth. I wanted to have my own